Ram bum bum. I'm back. <laughs> I'm even back with uh, Ashen Empires. Uh, that's a game I haven't streamed in ages. Talking about um, in ages. Uh, let me just do my famous or infamous, however you put it. Timestamp, and we're gonna pin it again. Uh, Ashen Empires, hooray! That's a really long, long, long running. Hold on, I need my microphone. Like, oh my god, it's, yeah, I think that's better. A really long running uh, MM. O R P G. I hope I got that right. Uh, it's been over 20 years that I've been playing that. And um, uh, don't be confused about my character here. It's named the innkeeper for, I mean, pretty obvious reasons. Um, that's my cigarette, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Stop being sorry, man. Um, yeah, I just made that um, character for um, privacy reasons. I don't want to give away my real in-game identity, my real character, my real account. Uh, that one is even running on a different Steam account. A pretty empty steam account and um, yeah so let's probably double into bum ba -da -da -dum. Ashen Empires hooray um I think I'm in croc last time I locked out I've I think it was in croc that's the arkish Starting town, I'm playing a, a male um, human character, but yeah, that's crack. You see an orc guard, and it's music as well. And these stupid windows are messed up again a bit. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. No, that's not really good. Hold on. Let's probably move to chat somewhere like here. Yeah. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Um, Ashen Empires. I'm level uh, 14. That's not really much. But we have uh, a spawn increase, as you can see, and we've got um, experience gain, hour, a power hour. I think that's gonna last for quite a bit. So we're getting good uh, mining experience, and I decided to go. Uh, blacksmith first. Hold on, where's my where are my windows? This is this is tedious, you know? This is really tedious. That's the only problem about this game. That the windows are constantly messing up. Uh, I need mining, I need smelting uh -huh. and I need forging. Well, the the other skills progress as well, but it's just so I can keep track a bit. And the fun about this game is that it's classless, more or less. Uh. 
you can see here uh, attributes, strength, dexterity, intelligence, and constitution. Those uh, limit the equipment you can uh, use, but not the skills you can use, not the regions you can travel to. Uh, high strengths obviously results in a higher carrying capacity, and as long as I don't have a feather box. Hold on, who's that? That, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I can't make the, the font size bigger, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, strength results in higher carrying capacity, which you definitely need as a miner. And as a blacksmith, because iron ore is, is pretty um, heavy, and your success rate really depends on your strength and your mining skill. Strengths, as all the other attributes, go up to um, 100. 101 depending on your city uh, that you pledged alliance to. Oh, by the way, where is everyone? Hayux? Hayux? Ah, normally he shows up after like 10 minutes. Um, yeah, and we already got quite some good pretty decent I would say well hello Luna K hello Luna K hello there <laughs> so can you hear me so I don't have to type all the time. <laughs> yeah, we even get two iron ores per pick, even three iron ores per pick. That's pretty, pretty good for a starter. Uh, at mining level 100, you get uh, five per pick depending on your equipment you've got an orc mining helm and a stone by the pick you get up to 10 iron ores per pick but we a long way long 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 way from there I even uh, yay mining level and we get 190 experience. Four more experience per pick. That doesn't sound like much, but it pays off in the long run. And with every um, level you advance in your skill, you get a higher and higher output, so to say. So I'm just gonna mine, uh, crock out <laughs> and smelt everything and forge everything, which gives me an awesome, well, depending, depending on your, on your level, an awesome, uh, gold out output. Oh my God, my English is failing me. Um, so, where are you, Luna? Luna K. 
You might want to say hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. A four iron ores. That's cool. I have to keep uh, an eye on my weight. Yeah, it's still good. And I decided to uh, have my beloved energy drink. And I decided to uh, do the uh, trade skills one by one, especially the processing uh, stuff like smelting, milling, spinning, weaving, etc. etc. It, it's much, much slower, like five times slower, but you also get five times the experience and you really need that at the beginning. And we're still at the beginning. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, I haven't got mining gear even. I transferred some stuff from my main account to this one. Um, I wouldn't consider that cheating because it's my stuff and I just swept it. Uh, between my own accounts that's not even against rules oh so you there Luna K hello or is that you Hyux let me check it could be Hyux no it's not Hyux where is Hyux but it's Luna K hello I can't type. Um, okay, we're closing in our weight capacity. And we have over a hundred iron ores and some gems that we can sell for money. Later on, I'm saving those gems because you can really uh, make cool stuff out of them. Holy moly, it's all mined out. Yeah, okay, that's better. Some more picks and we are closing in our uh, weight limit really have to take an eye on it you can get overweight but you're just gonna crawl once you just one single point overweight you're gonna crawl like a snail and it's a real stamina drain On my main account, I'm <laughs> I'm infamous for that character who suffers from stamina drain because I'm too lazy to to use uh, stamina potions. But that's a different story. I need my money for repair potions. So <laughs> okay. Man, the farm is so small. Good God. But it's okay. It's okay. So, Luna K, who are you? Are you playing Ashen Empires as well? Because that's a game that not many, not many P 
people are watching and in fact it's just Ashen employees that are watching those streams but that's pretty cool for me gas monkey no doesn't ring a bell I've got 4,000 experience pool, but that doesn't do really much because I can only put them into uh, combat skills and I don't even have a single combat skill yet. I think I'm gonna go uh, small blades because I'm playing an innkeeper. And obviously an innkeeper can't carry around uh, a, a big axe or something like the famine bringer that I have got in my bank I think uh oh yeah we we are just a bit overweight but that's okay let me show you my Beloved famine bringer. Oop. There we are. Eh. I still have to get used to everything. Oh my god. Does that mean? <sighs> Holy. Yeah. That's my totally different innkeeper account. Okay. That's a quite, quite empty uh, account, but that's even cooler, I think. Because I can show you the the game from from scratch, so I'm gonna take those 140, almost 140 um, iron ores and smelt them. Yeah, maybe get some more from here. Yep. That's the wrong tool. I always put them on on the hotbar. Hot hotbar. Hot, hot, hot where, where is hotbar? On the hotbar of F1. It's just, you know, just use it. You can also press U to repeat the uh, the action you just did, but I'm choosing F1. It's just more fun. And no, I'm not macroing. I know there are people who are macroing and. To be perfectly honest, I can't blame them because, especially in the beginning, when you need um, levels and, and orbs and strength and uh, I don't know, as a blacksmith, you need intelligence as well. Um, it's really tempting. It's really tempting to uh, macro, but I don't feel like it. It takes away. It takes away the fun, you know, the fun of having achieved something. Heck, why have I? Okay. No. Okay. I was mistaken. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's switch 
that back to the INR and let's activate that bellow and smelt the ore. And we're gonna get a lot more experience as you can see we get 190 experience per pick and we got 241 per smelting. Then again, we're gonna fail a lot more with smelting, which means half the experience. But that's still okay. I mean, it's still good experience. And we're not even failing so much. We have an iron smelting level of 21. That's really low <laughs> uh, compared to the 120 you can get if you have the right tools like smelting gloves, etc. But it obviously does the trick. I'm just gonna check the health of my pickaxe that's at 55 out of 100. It says 55 out of 55, but that's not entirely correct. And it means that we can have uh, 55 unsuccessful picks until our pickaxe breaks. So we probably should forge another pickaxe after we smelted the the iron ore. Well, Bob, I'm sorry that was pretty loud. Why not? Odd. Okay. That's odd. Oh. Is that a GM playing with me? Because you know, GMs... Ah shoot, GMs can be invisible and they are most of the time. And they are of course watching other players usually not like those low level players like I am but they're watching in, in big battles so nobody's cheating and they can move you around they can even mess with your uh, inventory and move inventories, uh, items around in the inventory just to check you are not macroing but as you can see I'm not macroing because otherwise I would be smelting right now so nope I'm not and I need some... Well... Ah! The bellow went out. I have to... Reactivate it. That's a bit of a disadvantage as a blacksmith. You have to constantly, well not constantly, it's about every, every 30, every 30 smelt, uh, the bellow goes out and you have to re-click it, but you get used to it. Doesn't happen when you uh, for example, milling locks or weaving or spinning uh, fabrics. 
that it happens with um, blacksmithing, smelting. Then again, I think that's the most rewarding uh, skill when it comes to experience and when it comes to, to gold. So it really gives you a, a, a jump start, so to say. If you put all your orbs into strength, just to give you a better yield of iron ore and a higher carrying capacity, uh, you should be all good. So we've got 23, like really soon. 23 ingots and let's just make a new pickaxe it's an miss miscellaneous and tools let's make a pickaxe let's see how much experience we got oh we failed damn it which is sorry no I'm not sorry Next try, we've got enough, enough ingots. <laughs> ah, failed again. Pickaxe. We should get around 300 experience, 304 experience, cool. Okay, now that we have a new pickaxe we can proceed to smelting even more ore and um, sell the surplus like great daggers I think. it's gonna be great daggers I'm sorry I'm having a half eye on my phone because I'm actually uh, awaiting a phone call. Yep. We got a really good success rate as you can see. Really, really, really good. Oh yeah, and and once I've got all the winners uh, and all the settings like I wanted them to be, <laughs> I made a backup of the entire game folder, so just in case something goes wrong, I can always screw it back. Yep. Oh, that was too quick. And I love the music. This is so nostalgic. I really love it. Ah, whoop. Okay, that was me mismousing. Definitely. Not a GM messing with me. smelting level we won't make it to uh, 22 but that's actually no problem because we're gonna do that and the next run oh now I see I see I see Put that a bit up here and get that one back in. Is that okay? 
No, I think. Oh, well, we're closing in. We're closing in level 15. That doesn't do much, but it's so great. Great. And we still got over a hundred iron ores to smelt. We've got over 40 ingots already. And that's gonna be an awful lot of money. I don't think that I should go like full steel armor. I think I could afford it meanwhile, but it's gonna be too heavy. So I'm perfectly fine with the equipment I have now. Maybe if I find an item that gives me uh, a bonus in strength or intelligence, that would be cool. But the spawn rate has resumed to normal levels, okay. But that's no problem in town, especially not in a starting town like Krak for um, the Orkish players, um, Toon Marrow for the Elfish players and Silvest for the human players. So my starting town is actually Silvest. But Obviously, I just mined out Silvus the last time, so I went to Krak and tried my luck there. There, and not really. M ah, Miss Mouse again. Miss Mouse once again and again. Uh, not many. Uh, I know it's in the Marrow because it's an elven town and they have a lot of, of wit. So once I'm starting to, to do Witwater King, I probably switch to the Marrow. I can still chop down trees and crack or silvers, that's no problem. But um, Dun Marlboro is the starting town to chop down trees, which reminds me of a Let's Zeppelin song. No, it's Mo. Well, Mo. No, it's not. No, it's Monty Python. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I walk all day and I sleep all night. No, 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 I, no, I sleep all night and I walk all day. Yeah, otherwise it wouldn't rhyme. <laughs> okay. Never mind, I'm being silly like usual. That's because I'm so excited and I really love that background music. It gives me so so great wipes. That's awesome. Oh, I just saw that flame arrow. It's a single flame arrow and I'm not using a bow. So I'm using that flame arrow as let's say a, a torch substitute. And that's really working for me. Hold on. I need to know. 3,800 something. Yeah. We're really close to, to level 15. And then we've got 40 strengths, base 
strength uh, and a bit more carrying capacity and a bit more um, success rate in mining and especially in forging so yeah the skills and the game itself it progressively gets better or you get more successful that is but it really takes some time I really remember going from I think it was level 105 to 106 that took like ages <laughs> and to get to level 110 that took even longer but it's totally worth it the moment you you hit 110 that's a moment you will never forget trust me after years and years Yep, clicking the bell again, and yeah, that's that's causing my character to to move around a bit. So we should get to level fifteen. I hope, like soon. Ah. Uh, and then I'm gonna switch back to a uh, forging just to uh, make some money. Come on! Fourth, one thousand four hundred experience. That's like 10 smelting, 10 ores to smelt. That's totally doable. And I don't feel like going into the wildlife just, just yet. Because I could survive um, vicinity or in the vicinity of the starting towns, but uh, you know, just beating up snakes and beetles and whatnot, bats for really really small amount of, of experience that's not worth it you're way faster yay level 15 so um i'm gonna put that into strength and hold on maybe you can see it uh, our weight goes up from a max of 268 to 274, that's 3 weight points per level. Which, once again, doesn't sound like much, but it really pays off. So let's just smelt all the ores we can get until the flame runs out again and then let's just forge i don't know great daggers yeah yeah that sounds good and then i'm gonna end that stream Uh, maybe restart it. Uh, 
I have to look how it works out with all, you know, the window arrangement and uh, the game not running in, in full screen. I'm not running in full screen, I'm running in, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's pretty much the anti-screen. <laughs> But it's not full screen, so I'm see still seeing um, everything else. So, okay. Um, we've got 90 iron ingots that we can help. It says 60 60. So, yeah, we have to stand near. An anvil, let's just first of all sell the gems for 800 gold. That's okay. And in order to um, forge, you need to send near an anvil. Maybe we should stick to short stilettos because why not? <laughs> we still fail, but it should give us like 300, 320 experience once we finally make it. Failed again. And failed again. Okay, maybe I should go for uh, great daggers. Yeah. That's not so good experience. That's so 308, but the success, uh, success rate is much higher. So all in all, it, it really pays off to do uh, smaller level items at first. Once you have uh, the black skill, uh, black skill, black skill, wow. Blacksmith skill to do uh, higher item levels. Uh, we could even try to forge a rugged plate. No, we can't. But a steel shield. Let's try that. That's seven ingots. Yeah. And we would only get 200, uh, 340 experience. But great gold. But. No, it's still not worth it. Weapons, great dagger. We're gonna stick to great daggers, I think. So, uh, yeah, where is everyone? Hello. Yeah, and there's random NPCs uh, asking for your favors, basically giving you quests, mostly errands, you know, escort them from town one to town B, or take a letter from, oh, we can still do one great dagger. Uh, to deliver a letter from one NPC to another. Okay, unloading those great daggers now. And it's still 700 gold. That's okay. And our blacksmith hammer is in good shape. So we're just gonna finish those great daggers and 
the the ingot ingots doing great daggers. And we made gonna make uh, a, a new blacksmith level, a forging level. 20, that is. Hooray! Okay, last one. And... Yes! You are now level 20 in your iron forging skill. So let's see what we can do now. We still can't do rock plates. That's a bummer because uh, I love do them. They're really great um, ingots to experience ingots to experience to to gold ratio. Um, but I t ah, that was a ah, skinning knife, which is awesome uh, experience but not so good in gold hold on where is my great dagger Oop. uh there it is Eighty more to go. Okay, gonna unload it. The skinning knife gives a little less money than the great daggers, but a lot more experience, so it really depends what you're after. I still think that great daggers are the better choice because the success rate is much higher, I was about to say, and I just failed. Oh god. Okay. But you actually don't fail much doing great daggers, it's just a two ingots item. So, um, yeah, you, you don't pay much. Twenty six. That means thirteen uh, gray dag daggers to go. And I can even see the, the progress bar down in the right corner, like here. Ah, failed again. Uh, it's going up. It's visibly going up. Slowly but steady. That's why I love blacksmithing so much because it's really, really great um, experience and money. And you can stay in town, in the starting town and, and, and safe zones. So it's a pretty safe way to level your way up to, let's say, level 40 once you can um, fight uh, Talisa uh, minions no Talisa warriors 
a stair called Talisman Warriors. They g give good money and they give actually pretty decent equipment. I mean, yeah, depending on your level. You don't hunt them at, at level 110 because he one hit them anyway, so <laughs> it's not even worth it to pick it up. I have auto loot on my main account, that's a paid account. Um, and I'm just collecting the money and, and sell or salvage the magical items I get from them, but that's still a long way to go. That's really a long way to go. Okay, uh, we still have 45 iron ores to go, but I'm going to end that stream like now <laughs> and have a quick break, have something to eat and uh, I'll see how that stream went with you know all the windows and oh I just yeah, I just realized that the the chat goes over the skill Oh, flattering, Selene. Uh, views, followers, views, chatbots. Okay. Um, flattering silently. You read the rules. Um, offering promotions, etc., uh, etc. Et That's totally against my chat rules so um yeah what can i do with you i think i just can't can't give you i don't know I just can't give you a ban. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, people, I'm not. And block him. Yeah, people. I don't like uh, people who are offering me in-game graphics design and, and whatnot. Uh, you read the rules. Uh, I didn't give a warning about that. If you just mention it once and offer it once, it's a ban. As you could have seen before with that guy. Uh, I'm not kidding with that. I'm fed up with it. I used to have like a dozen people in my streams offering me their services and I'm going to just say no and no I'm not even going to say no I you have to accept the rules before you can first chat and if you still break the rules I mean you read them you have to look at the consequences that's a ban okay good uh, well, not good, but <laughs> um, 
in the meantime, everyone have fun. Uh, all those uh, graphics designer guys and girls or whoever they are, uh, stay away from his streams. Um, well, you can watch and chat and what not, but don't you ever mention you're offering me uh, graphics design stuff. That's a big no and that's an instant ban. Okay, um, in the meantime, everyone have fun and I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.